Cambodia recorded another jump in Omicron cases today, with local Omicron cases higher than imported cases for the first time. Today's official daily new COVID case total, diagnosed by ECR test, was 10. Cambodia and Australia discuss various topics of common interests. Cambodia and Australia have discussed various topics of common interests, ranging from the Myanmar crisis to the ASEAN-Australia Comprehensive Strategic Partnership. At a dinner hosted by the Australian Embassy in Phnom Penh on the eve of the 70th anniversary of Cambodia-Australia diplomatic relations, ATF 2022 to reaffirm Cambodia as a safe tourist destination. The ASEAN Tourism Forum 2022, ATF 2022, to be hosted by Cambodia, will reaffirm Cambodia as a safe tourism destination in the region. Singapore voices support for Cambodia's efforts in Myanmar crisis. Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Singapore, Dr. Vivian Balakrishnan, has expressed his support for Cambodia's efforts in engaging all stakeholders to implement the five-point consensus reached by the ASEAN leaders in April last year. Returning Cambodian workers sent for quarantine at border province as Omicron cases spike. As Omicron cases continue to surge, authorities begin to quarantine workers returning from Thailand who test positive for COVID-19. Complaints raised after posting of Sangkut slash commune voter lists. The National Election Committee, NEC, reported that after the posting of first the voter lists in Sangkut and communes in the country, complaints were raised. Cambodia, United Nations to work together on Myanmar crisis. The UN will work with the ASEAN chair to ensure that the situation in Myanmar does not get worse, said new special envoy of the United Nations Secretary General on Myanmar Neolene Hazer, in a virtual meeting with Prime Minister Hun Sen yesterday. ASEAN COVID-19 Table-14 January 2022 ASEAN as a whole has reported more than 15.5 million COVID-19 cases. Of this, more than 750,000 are active cases as of January 14. Waiting in anticipation. Results for national grade 12 exams to be announced. Students throughout the country are waiting with bated breaths for the results of their efforts in the national grade 12 exams held on December. U.S. committed to end illegal trade of Cambodian antiquities. The United States government announced that through extensive effort 35 artifacts originating from Cambodia and other Southeast Asian countries will be returned. Universal Peace Federation issues statement in support of PM's mission to find resolution to crisis in Myanmar. Chairman of the Universal Peace Federation, Dr. Thomas G. Walsh, sent a message of support and appreciation for Prime Minister Hun Sen for leading the efforts to find a solution for the crisis in Myanmar. UN envoy urges inclusive ASEAN approach to Myanmar crisis as Cambodia leads talk with junta. While speaking with the Prime Minister Hun Sen, a United Nations special envoy has urged Southeast Asian countries to support international efforts to engage all sides in the crisis in army-ruled Myanmar. One student in international school found infected with Omicron variant in capital. Health officials had reportedly discovered that one of the nine COVID-19 positive cases detected at the Panasastra International School, located at Bori Pifathme, Sankut Phnom Penthme, Khan Senator Sok, has been infected with the Omicron variant. PM leads the way by receiving his booster dose. PM Hun Sen received his booster dose for COVID-19 on the morning of at his residence in Takmau City. Australia's ambassador to ASEAN lands in Cambodia for working visit. Will Nankovis, Australia's ambassador to ASEAN, has arrived in Phnom Penh for a working visit. Omicron community cases in Cambodia increased to 28 in a month, setting off alarms. With just a handful of community infection of Omicron cases by the third week of December 2021, the number of patients with the Omicron variant of the coronavirus has jumped to 28 as of Thursday, January 13. Efforts unstuck. Opposition's unity bid against CPP for polls comes apart. Efforts to merge newly created political parties or form a viable opposition party to challenge the mammoth Cambodian People's Party, CPP, before the upcoming commune election, have become unstuck due to unwillingness and polarization.
Public Works Ministry to use app for project management. The Public Works Ministry on Wednesday announced plans to launch the PRK app to monitor the effectiveness of road construction, road infrastructure, and reduce other technical costs of road repairs in Cambodia. BCCC Tribunal Exit Strategy put in force. An addendum to the agreement between the United Nations and the government on the extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia, ECCC, has come into force. Social Affairs Ministry to improve childcare services. The Social Affairs Ministry has signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MU, with Care for Children to provide childcare and improve child protective services. Cambodia and the Philippines to enhance ties, share experience. The government and the Philippines have agreed to cooperate with each other to share experiences in the field of subnational reform and to combat transnational crimes. Climate change and drought, biggest challenge for agriculture ministry. The Ministry of Agriculture yesterday said that among its biggest challenges to address are climate change, drought, and irrigation system development. African swine fever leads to ban on live pig imports. Cambodia has temporarily stopped the import of pigs from its neighbors Thailand and Vietnam due to an outbreak of African swine fever. Kampong Spu families won't go without toilets. Kampong Spu authorities are determined to provide the remaining 10% of families with toilets this year and mark the conclusion of the province's campaign to end open air defecation. Tycoon arrested over $500k fraud claim. Kampot Provincial Court yesterday charged Tycoon Peth Nguyen and placed him in prison for allegedly cheating a businessman out of nearly $500,000 last year. Japan to provide more funding to develop Cambodia. Japan has once again come to the forefront of helping Cambodia, and this time the Japanese government has pledged to provide more funding to develop various sectors, such as mine clearance, clean water, and electricity. Cambodia ranks second in Asia as the best country for retirees for 2022. Cambodia snagged second place in Asia and 14th in the world as the best country for retirees to 2022. This is according to the recent release of the International Living website. USAID Greening Prey Lang has disbursed nearly $2.8 million in grants since 2019. Since July 2019, USAID Greening Prey Lang has awarded nearly $2.8 million through 17 grants to private companies and non-governmental organizations to protect biodiversity and improve livelihoods in many wildlife sanctuaries, protected areas and heritage parks in the kingdom. PM outlines seven recommendations for local and international journalists. While giving professional recognition to journalists and their supportive role played in nation-building, Prime Minister Hun Sen yesterday outlined seven recommendations that they should also adhere to in accordance with government policy. Youth takes justice into his own hands. Kampong Spu Provincial Court on yesterday charged an 18-year-old man with murder for allegedly hacking his stepfather to death with a machete after his family suffered torture whenever the latter became drunk. Convict who escaped from hospital, arrested. A Japanese convict who fled from the Khmer Soviet hospital while undergoing treatment in October last year was arrested on January 10 and charged in Phnom Penh Municipal Court yesterday with escape. NCDD to deploy experts to provinces for rural development. Sustainable rural development is important for economic, social and environmental viability, and an issue is the lack of expertise at the sub-national level.